Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Kim. Uh, today I would like to talk about the way of Jesus. Uh, Mark 8.34 uh, Jesus said, Whoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So if we want to follow Jesus Christ, you have to understand the way of Jesus he is going through. Many Christians think Jesus died on Friday. But when you think about the sign of Jonah, Jonah means dove. So if you understand the sign of Jonah, sign of dove, you will understand Jesus was in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. So you will have to understand Jesus died in the year of 30 AD and the Passover was on Wednesday. So Jesus died on Wednesday and he was in the heart of the earth Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then he resurrected on Sunday. And that is the key to figure out the way of Jesus. So John 14 4 says, You will understand the way I go through. So when we understand the way Jesus is going through, and then you will be able to understand the way we are going to go through. So that, you know, this part is about the life of Jesus. And this part is about the way of 144K. So when we think about the life of Jesus, then you will be able to understand the way we are going to go through. So Daniel 9.25 69 weeks until anointed one, which means anointing, the baptism. This baptism belong to 69 weeks, 69th week. So we have to understand this baptism, it is not part of the one week. So Jesus got baptized right before 27 AD and this is 69th week and during this time Jesus he elected disciples John, Peter, Andrew such disciples had been chosen during this time and then the formal ministry was three years So from 27 AD until crucifixion 30 AD, three years of ministry. And this one, Luke chapter 13, verse 7. <clears throat> three years. And this three years was the time for the nourishment. 12 disciples, they got trained, educated by Jesus Christ. Jesus, he is a witness, true witness. So this is Revelation um, 3, 14. And this three, one year, two year, and three years. And at the end of three years, this is the new covenant. During the new covenant, Jesus, he purchased these 12 disciples by the blood of Jesus. So that this means seal.
And then Jesus crucified. And then when they come to the Pentecost, they got sealed by the Holy Spirit. And they got the power. Power of the Holy Spirit. And then the persecution began. So when you think about these seven years, the first part is a nourishment, tra training time. And then the second part is a persecution. This is a purification. Or sanctification. So that we can understand the first part is elect disciples and then 12 disciples nourishment. This is three years. And then covenant of blood. This is a seal purchased by the blood of Jesus. And then in the Pentecost, they got the power of the Holy Spirit so that they are ready to go out to the world to spread the gospel. And then during this time, they got persecution and this is about three and a half times. And during this time, the disciples, they got persecuted to death. And the purification was completed. So in the same way, uh, this is 2020, 30. From this time, the last seven years will begin. So from April 1st, uh, there will be no raining for 1,260 days. No raining. And this is in Revelation 11, 3-6. And during this time, the two witnesses. Here we have Jesus' witnesses. Witness. And here is two witnesses. And this is John 8, 17. And these two prophets, they will train 144,000. So we have to understand now. Now, present until 2023, God will choose 144K candidates. <clears throat> So now is the time God is make a selection of 144,000. And then when we come to 2023, the training, training time will begin. So one year, two year, and three years. <clears throat> so when we get to April 1st to April 1st, exactly three years. And this is Passover. So on this Passover, this 144,000, they will have the covenant of blood. This is the seal of God. So when this seal of God they received, and then they will receive the power of the Holy Spirit, just like Pentecost. And then, they are going into the, going through the 42 months great tribulation. So this is the persecution in Revelation 13, 5. So this 42 months will begin September 22nd until 2030, uh, <clears throat> March 4. And as you can see, this is the beginning of 42 months. And until here, September 22nd, this is 30 years. And when you go to the uh, Revelation 7-9, during this time, lots of Gentiles, shall be saved. So I can tell you from uh, 
from present until this time. Uh, from present until this time. Uh, five billions shall be perished. And this is based on the Zechariah uh, 13, 8, and 9. So two-thirds of human population shall be perished and then one-third going through the final great tribulation. So this 42 months uh, shall be 144K plus and 2.5 billion Gentiles. And then you have to understand, okay, let me explain to you again. From 2023 until 2026, God will seal 144K. And there will be uh, from here uh, five months halting. During these five months, those who have not received the seal of God, they shall be hurt by God for five months. So this is the last chance for the repentance. And then, uh, September 20, 21st, September 21st, on this day, 2.5 billion of Christians who have failed to receive the seal of God, they shall be perished in one day. And this is uh, Revelation 9.15. So you have to understand until September 22nd, totally 5 billion, including 2.5 billion, to totally 5 billion of people shall be perished. And then, the one third plus 144k, they will go through the, this final great tribulation. And during this time, 144k, they will evangelize this 2.5 billion of Gentiles. And lots of these Gentiles, they will come to Jesus Christ and repent. So, uh, my point for this presentation today, it is about the life of Jesus. This is the revelation of the way we are going to go through. So, Jesus is, uh, Jesus, he revealed us what we are going to go through based on the life, life himself. So, now is the time of the 144K candidate election time. And 2023, this is the training time. And then they got the seal of God on their forehead. And then they got the power of the Holy Spirit. And then they go through the great tribulation. So if you have any question, just feel free to leave your comment so that we can talk further. And, uh, you know, if we want to become 144,000, this is not an option. This is a must. And we as a Christian, we are in the spiritual race. So that we have to run and we have to do our best in this race. And the most important thing, you have to understand the meaning of high servers. High servers, high priest, and high command, and high day. And this, this is the key. This is the key message for the 144,000. 
But for this one, maybe I can talk to you about later. But this is really, really important. This is a golden message. Uh, God, okay, before I finish this presentation, the second coming of Jesus will be April 18, 2030. This is Daniel 12, 12. God bless you.